guys, welcome to day 13, Attitude of Gratitude. We want you to start your daily reset by circling your overall mood, do your three, two, one journaling, and then write that dear self or dear God letter. And lastly, write down that one person you wanna connect with today before we jump into our lesson. Okay, here's the goal for today. Build up those muscles of thankfulness. And I have to be honest with you, as somebody who truly struggles with anxiety myself, this is one of my favorite things. Learning to be grateful has actually really helped my anxiety because we actually have the ability to control our thoughts. Yep, you have the power to control your thoughts. And as a result, we will have a renewed mind because thinking dictates behavior. Do you wanna be somebody new? Well, you're gonna have to start learning how to think in new ways. That's why this is extremely imperative that we spend time shaping how we think. And you know, just as like a little bit of cancer can permeate and destroy a body, the diseases of anger, bitterness, fear, sadness, anxiety can wreak havoc on our souls. But luckily there are treatments that can send those thought cancers into remission. And one of these soul restoring treatments, as you probably gathered from the title, is having an attitude of gratitude. And you know, this is not a new development. You may have even heard this before but dwelling on what we're grateful for can actually change for the positive, our outlook of the world, our mood, and even our physical health. And you might be asking yourself, well, I do want an attitude of gratitude, but how do I get one? Well, we're gonna give you some steps that will kind of help get you on your way. The first thing you can do is reflect. Through reflection, you can try to open your eyes to things that are small even, like I have food to eat. I'm so grateful today. I got out of bed. I can hear the birds chirping. I have breath in my lungs. Second thing, continue spending five to 10 minutes writing down things that you notice throughout the day that you're thankful for. This is why we have it as a part of the daily reset to train your brain. And then lastly, number three, at least once a week, spend time thinking about a person in your life that you're grateful for, or that has maybe made an impact in your life. It could be a friend, a teacher, a coach, a parent, you get the point, right? And if you're an overachiever, you can send one or all of those people a text about how you feel. I mean, could you imagine getting one of those from somebody? <sighs> Cute tears. So go ahead and take the time to go through today's entry. Be self-aware through your day of things that you're thankful for. Train your mind to look for them. Because I don't know if you know this, but your brain cannot think of things that make you anxious and things that you're grateful for at the same time. What would you rather be thinking about? Thoughts that provoke anxiety or thoughts that provoke joy? Don't forget to reach out to us if you have any questions, concerns, or just wanna say hi at Instagram at our handle, The Reset Group.